Welcome. This is yoga level one and two by Teresa Diaz. Namaste. Um, we're going to grab a blanket or a towel and we're going to fold it um, in three parts and we're going to sit on it or if you have a block, a four inch block, please use the block and just sit on the block or put the blanket on top of the block if that's more comfortable. So we're going to place the blanket and we're going to sit a little bit on towards the edge of the blanket and we're going to sit in Sukhasana with the legs crossed or Swastikasana, whichever is more comfortable. All right, and you just make sure that your knees are relaxed. You grab a hold of the knees from the front and begin to lift the center of the chest up towards the ceiling, expanding your chest cavity, expanding your rib cage, separating the rib cage from the hips, bringing the sternum forward and lifting. Very good, okay, now the spine is nice and straight. Shoulders are rolled back, elbows are pointing back. And we keep on stretching a little bit the neck from side to side, making sure that your skull is in line with the center of your chest cavity all the way down towards your tailbone. And we're gonna do a little bit of pranayam work. We're gonna place our right hand on our belly and we're gonna start doing our belly breath inhaling and really inflating the belly and exhaling and really bringing the belly button back towards the spine but keep on lifting always lifting the center of the chest up rolling the shoulders back don't let the collarbones collapse the collarbones widen as you inhale and exhale and you can close your eyes here and just kind of focus on the breath through your body the breath as you inhale and exhale and all of the um, the sensations that you're having as you inhale for three and exhale for three okay you can bring the left hand we're going to do dirga pranayam the left hand on the center of the chest okay we're going to inhale with the belly continue inhaling middle of the chest inhale top of the chest bring the collarbones apart and then exhaling from the top towards the center of the rib cage contracts and belly button goes moves towards the spine again inhale 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 spreading the shoulders apart spreading the collarbones apart and then exhale 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 and just if you want to do this on your own and you want to just focus on your breath rather than on my voice just turn off or put on pause this yoga video and one more time, inhale, 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 and exhale, exhale, and exhale. Okay, bringing your arms to the side, stretching your arms to the side, and turning the palms up towards the ceiling, rolling the shoulders back, spreading the collarbones apart, really feeling the breath, feeling your chest cavity and making it wider making your armpits more concave there you go and stretching up towards the ceiling feeling the distance between the tailbone the sit bones all the way up towards the crown of the head keep your head in line with the rest of the spine don't let your chin move a lot forward or upwards or inwards just keep that chin parallel to the floor your drishti your focus and your heart and as you inhale you're gonna lift all the way up press your hands together look up chin up and exhale touch the floor with the fingers inhale three-part breath all the way up to the fingertips exhale bring hands down Again, inhale, lift up, touch the hands, press the palms together and exhale, come down, chin towards the chest, but the chest doesn't move, the chest always faces up. Keep your chin marking the movements as you inhale and as you exhale, dirga breath, 
three part breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale, lift, exhale. Really reaching the hands wide. Don't collapse the spine, don't collapse the shoulders. Okay, one more time. And then stretch your arms outward. Try to bring your pinky finger up as you roll your shoulders back. And then just start doing little circles. Little circles with your shoulders feeling this release of the tension of the center of the chest towards the fingers as you inhale, exhale. And then switch directions, about five or six circles. Yes, just getting those shoulders nice and those um, low, uh, upper back. Okay, now we're gonna bring, we're gonna just shake it up, bring our hands together in front of us and then interlace the fingers and bring your palms forward, stretch all of your fingers. This is how it's gonna look on the side. You're gonna interlace the fingers, bring the wrists forward and then bring the shoulders back. Keep bringing the shoulder blades towards each other like they're gonna pop out out of your center of the chest and this is how it looks from behind you know i'm interlacing the fingers and then i bring the shoulders back the shoulder blades move towards each other and slowly the shoulder blades start melting down towards the hips the elbows face upwards towards the wrist the wrist towards the ceiling you keep trying to twist the uh the triceps forward, the elbows forward, making a lot of space between the ears and the shoulders. Neck is long, spine is long, you're breathing with the belly and then you reach your chin up towards the hand and drop your head back. You keep lifting the center of the chest up by pressing the shoulder blades towards each other and pressing upwards towards the, your center of the chest. The triceps keep on twisting forward. Okay, and so this is how we're gonna look. This is the side view. And then you're gonna drop your chin towards the chest, but the chest continues to lift up towards the ceiling. Your spine continues to be straight, the shoulder blades towards each other melting the shoulder blades towards the hips and then bringing the palms forward you're going to start rounding the top of your spine keep dropping the chin down towards the center of the chest you're going to really round the spine but the upper part of the spine is the one that you're going to round the most okay and then again, shoulders towards each other, shoulder blades towards each other, bring hands all the way back, keep rolling the shoulders back. You're gonna interlace the fingers in the back, keeping you know either the palms together or palms apart, doesn't matter, but we're gonna roll the shoulders back, widening the collarbones, bending the elbows, bringing the elbows towards each other, and maybe bringing the hands away from you as much as possible and lift the center of the chest up towards the ceiling, keeping your chin parallel to the floor. Your neck is aligned with the rest of the spine and you're just feeling the opening in the front of the chest and the work of all of your muscles in your upper back working towards each other. You're gonna relax, very good. This is gonna be the side view more or less again okay you can start stretching the arms and trying to reach the top of your hands down onto the floor or if you want to stretch your legs forward and flex your feet a lot bring your heels forward and just place a little bit of your weight on your the top of your hands Elbows towards each other, rolling shoulders back, lifting the center of the chest up, keeping your head and your neck aligned with the rest of the spine, and then you're going to relax. And then your wrists are gonna hurt a little bit. Just, you know, you can do a little bit of exercise, a little turning of the wrist, but we're going to here for our wrist, we're gonna face the fingers towards our buttocks, Place the heels down, press the heels down, roll the shoulders back, shoulder blades towards each other, elbows towards each other, lift the center of the chest, 
and lift the hips up and point the tailbone down towards your heels the buttocks point towards your heels and you lift the chest up you look up and you come back to sitting into a dandasana and you just press your hands forward to stretch them and they go up and down those wrists hands up and down you bring your hands, arms to the sides, up and down. You can do circles, just to just loosen up this, loosen up your wrists. Good. Very good. Okay, Dandasana. Heels forward, press, seeing the back of your thighs and the back of your calves down. Activating those kneecaps as you point and flex. Keeping the center of the chest up towards the ceiling. Keeping a nice straight back. Roll the shoulders back as much as possible. Flex and point. At any moment, you can pause the video and do it slower or take a break and do it again. Okay. Okay, now we're going to sit in Vrajasana. Okay, this is the diamond pose. If that's too difficult for you, just grab your, your roll of blankets and place it right behind the knee crease, okay? Your knees then are going to really, kneecaps are really going to open up and your quads are going to stretch here. Or if this is way too difficult, just grab a hold of your block, place it in between your ankles, squeeze the ankles together, bring the knees together and sit on the side of the block and just... Straighten the spine, okay, straighten the head, and bring your arms forward, roll the palms forward, roll the shoulders back, and lift, and we're going to twist here, we're going to inhale, and as we exhale, we twist towards the left, you're going to bring your left hand, let me show you here, your left hand on your sacrum, elbow facing back, left shoulder rolling back as much as possible, feeling the shoulder blade come towards the center of the spine and sliding down a bit towards the sacrum. You're going to really feel the spine straightening upwards as you inhale and exhale, you twist. The right shoulder is also rolling back. Okay, let's do the other side. Palms facing up, roll the shoulders back, and you twist. And then you're going to bring the right hand on the sacrum, left hand on the outside of the right thigh. You're going to bring the left, right shoulder all the way back, right elbow all the way back, feeling the twist of the center of the spine towards the upper spine. Okay, very good. Inhale, exhale, and you're going to get rid of the block. Yeah, get rid of anything in your um, mat here. Okay, we're going to use, again, the blanket in the back of the knees, okay? You're going to press the tops of the feet down, press all of the toes down, press your shins down, and you're going to start walking your fingers forward as you press your sit bones back, lengthening the spine, looking forward, lengthening the chin forward. And as you exhale, bring the chin towards the center of the chest without dropping the head. Keep the head aligned with the rest of the spine and just keep pressing yourself back. Keep pressing your hips back. Relax here as you exhale. And then you can place your head, your forehead on the floor. Keep your elbows lifted off the floor. And if this is too difficult, just bring your elbows down, but turn your palms upward so that your shoulders are rolling away from your ears. Your collarbones are lengthening towards the outside and you feel that the shoulder blades are beginning to relax from the center of the spine outward. Okay, and then you look forward, chin forward, press your hands down and then come back into force. Okay, if your knees are very sensitive like mine are, we're going to place something uh, cushiony like your towel or your blanket uh, 
uh, where your knees are, but make sure that your shins and the tops of your feet are also on the blanket. You're gonna press the tops of your feet down, the shins down. You're going to not drop the belly down, but keep your belly up towards the spine. And you're just going to sway your hips back and forth, just kind of feeling the movement. And then we're gonna do little circles as wide as possible, these circles of the hips and shoulders and head, releasing any tension in the neck. Here, feeling also the movement in the wrists, in the elbows, everywhere. These are like circular mo movements. They're very good to start to move that energy throughout your body. And also you start to feel how your body is today. Maybe it's not so good. Maybe it's great. Oh, it's okay. You don't judge yourself. Just kind of feeling whatever is going on in your body and making those kneecaps also kind of warm up. Bring your toes in, bring your fingers onto the floor and really stretch forward by walking your fingers forward, looking forward, bringing the chin forward and coming into sort of a child pose, but with your toes inward. So you can really start feeling the stretch of the toes, stretch of the balls of the feet, always heels upwards. And then you're gonna sit on your heels for a while, pressing your hands down and lifting the spine, breathing into those toes. And then when you can let go of the toes, just concentrate on your breath going through your body. Okay, now we're gonna come into all fours again pressing the tops of the feet down, shins down, and you're just going to exhale, inhale and exhale, bring the belly up towards the spine, looking at your knees lifting up, and you're really pressing the tops of the feet down, all the toenails are pressing down, and you release. Okay, let's do it again, inhale, chin up, exhale, chin towards the center of the chest, lift the belly up, lift the knees up. Feel the strength coming from your fingertips, pressing down all the way up towards the back of the center of the chest and upwards, uh, energetically upwards with your belly button, with that navel. The navel goes all the way up. Even if you keep on breathing with the belly, the navel goes upwards a little bit more and exhale. Very good. You can do three, you can do five. This is really good, starting to wake up your abdomen. You're going to come into cow pose, bringing the chin forward and tailbone back as you inhale, exhale, belly button goes all the way to the ceiling, rounding your spine as much as you can and lifting the wrist off the floor as you do your cat. Inhale, exhale here. Inhale, look forward, stretching the front of the spine. Exhale, stretching the back of the spine. Again, inhale, lifting the chin up, and exhale, and then come back into Chakrasana, child pose. And then coming back into tabletop. Inhale, cow, exhale, child pose. Just guiding yourself with the belly here. Inhale, guiding yourself with the center of the chest. And exhale, guiding yourself back with the belly. The belly goes all the way to the back of the room. Again, inhale, stretch the front of the spine. Exhale. Very good. You can do it three to five times. And here we go. We're going to keep the elbows the same distance as the shoulders. As we move the shoulders back, we're going to reach down and touch the floor with the elbows. Shoulders are back. Look how shoulders are back. Shoulders are not moving forward. The chest keeps on being open. The chin is forward. And only the shoulder blades start moving towards each other as you go down. Really feeling the activation of all of the tendons and ligaments in those shoulders and shoulder blades and chest. Now you're gonna look forward, keep the elbows down. You're gonna lift your butt up, lift the knees up off the floor. You can keep your knees bent 
or start to straighten your legs, pressing the thighs back, the inner, the outer thighs rolling inwards and pressing back, lifting the uh, sit bones up towards the ceiling, stretching the spine and release, come into child pose and rest. Keeping the inhale to three, the exhale to six, so that you can relax. Then looking forward and coming back into tabletop. All of the fingers separated, middle finger facing forward. Inhale, and then exhale, cat and child pose. And now you're gonna keep your elbows down to the floor as much as possible. Look forward, bring your entire body, bring your chest forward as much as possible, strain the arms and exhale to child pose, inhale chest forward towards your fingers and inhale again here and then exhale child pose, okay so just using the breath, inhale, exhale, inhale table, cow and exhale cat and child pose, Keeping the elbows down, inhale, chest towards your fingers, exhale. Let's see if you can lift the elbows off the floor. Keep your shoulders rolled back and come all, the, all to the floor into a preparation for cobra, little cobra. And we're going to press our hands right beside our chest. You lift the center of the chest forward. And you're going to try to squeeze the hands towards your hips. The, the buttocks point towards the heels. The knees lift off the floor a tiny bit. Your chest, see your chest moves forward like if you're going to squeeze the hands towards your feet, opening the chest more, opening the heart, and then straighten your arms, roll the shoulders back, center the chest forward, feel the shoulder blades moving towards each other, the hips, just relaxing down, tailbone facing down, and as you exhale, come into child pose. You can pause this and do it again, or rewind and do it again. This is really good exercise for preparation to Chaturanga. <laughs>